Gili Tawangan. Otherwise known as Gili T. We took the ferry from Nusa Penida to here yesterday. And we didn't feel the need to film it just because it was the exact same experience on a boat as it was from Uluwatu to Nusa Penida. And today we've got another exciting excursion planned, but for now we're just gonna go grab some nice coffee and breakfast. a lovely cappuccino and some breakfast we are now setting off on our excursion which is surprise another snorkeling trip apparently this is considered to be the turtle capital of the world so we have sorted ourselves with what i think is going to be a five hour trip which will take us around a bunch of spots all over the gilly islands and hopefully we'll get to see a lot of marine life on the way. Yeah, I hope we get to see a bigger concentration of turtles than we did on Nusa Penida. But it sounds like we have a lot more stops. Like on that trip, we only had three. Whereas here, because it takes us to like Gili Air, Gili Mino, and here on Gili T, I think there's probably five or six plus snorkeling stops. And it only cost us 100,000 rupiah each, which is like what, like nine Canadian dollars. So far we've been outfitted with flippers. We still have no snorkels and masks, but uh, let's see how it goes.
So as part of our morning, we have ended up going to three different spots for different reasons. The first one was for statues, and we still ended up seeing one turtle anyway. And then there was another spot which was specifically to sight turtles, and we saw a bunch of them. It was amazing. And then finally, we got to see blue coral and a lot of reef fish, which was spectacular. So. It's been a very good morning. We're now at a restaurant, just about to have some lunch, and then apparently we're going to a turtle sanctuary this afternoon. We're all done with lunch now, and it's time to head back to the boat. You may be wondering why we're okay coming to this turtle sanctuary and we were really uncomfortable at the fish farm that we saw in Langkawi. And the reason is that here they're doing it to protect the turtle eggs from predators. They often succumb to like cats, dogs, lizards, monkeys, and crabs. And because the turtles only breed every one to five years, it's really important to save the eggs and the hatchlings so that there are enough of them in the wild. And they were even saying that here they feed the turtles every two hours. If any of them are injured, then they give them veterinary care. They change the water every single day and then they'll be released into the wild when they're one year old and have a better chance of surviving on their own. Unlike the fish farm, which seems to basically just be like a miniature zoo, this is actually a genuine conservation effort. Turtle numbers are going down due to pollution in the seas and loss of habitat. And so therefore it is essential that in order to keep certain turtle species around, especially the ones that are being dealt with here, then sanctuaries like this aren't completely necessary. And they're so cute and little. Yes, they are, which also helps. We're back at the hotel after what was a phenomenal snorkeling tour. It was truly amazing. And I think these are the sorts of experiences that I think we've been really looking out for and really looking forward to as part of this entire trip. And it's just been so satisfying to look forward to something like this and for it to then just happen. It's great. Yeah, the fact that it's so affordable mm -hmm. and also that the animals are untouched. We're doing this in their natural environment and trying not to disturb them. Yeah, and the fact that we can do so in as respectful a manner as possible that still allows them to live normally and not really impede on them too much is mm -hmm. really nice. So yeah, that was truly special and I think in the time that we've been spending editing between the end of the tour and now, then it's been great because we've been able to go through the clips together and really kind of relive the experience, which has been fantastic. Yeah, it means that you really don't forget it. We lived it the one time, we've now lived it a second, and the great thing about making videos is that we'll be able to revisit this for a lifetime. Exactly. Which is kind of incredible. It's so special. And to know that you've managed to kind of immortalize that memory is just so satisfying. We ended up having a shower and freshening up. So we're feeling better about ourselves now. Definitely. But after all that editing and reliving all of that stuff has managed to work out quite an appetite. I read that there is a night market coincidentally called Turwangan Night Market and apparently they have some really good food so we're gonna go check that out now. This looks awesome. We are not going hungry today.
great thing about a number of the fish stands is that they also do a bunch of satay, so it's usually about 25,000 per skewer, which is super cheap. So you select the skewers, and then on top of that, by going through the warong, then you also get unlimited sides. Whatever they're showing, you have it. So I've got rice, pumpkin, aubergine, mushrooms, a spring roll, and some green beans, and on top of that I'll put the chili sauce, and that's to go with this satay tuna and mahi-mahi. And then, Rachel, what you got? I have pumpkin, aubergine, a coconut salad with green beans, and spinach, chili sauce, and we should mention that the satay came with peanut sauce, and we're super excited to eat this. Having tried all of our sides, which can confirm, perfectly seasoned, amazingly well cooked, absolutely delicious. It's now time for the main event, which is the fish. So here we go. Here we go for some satay mahi mahi. Oh my god. Perfectly grilled. Absolutely good for in that peanut sauce is amazing. This is such a good choice. All this for 100,000 rupiah, under ten dollars, absolute steal. Dinner was so yummy, and it kind of reminded me of when we would get like the seven curries in Sri Lanka. Because yeah, the vegetable sides were not curries, but it was the same concept of like noodles and rice in the middle with veggie sides around it. And oh my goodness, so many different satay options, like beef, chicken, fish. They even had like fish as exotic as barracuda and marlin available on the menu. Had no idea how much it would have cost, probably way too much, but very happy with the choices that we ended up making. And we saw some places where you where they could make a full grilled fish for you. So we might end up doing that another night, we'll see. But certainly that was a hawker market with a difference. It seemed like they kind of already had like a two course meal already set out for you by having the satay option available and then the crepes. And then if you wanted a drink, then there was beer that you could get from each of the stalls. Or alternatively, if you wanted a juice or a smoothie or a milkshake, then that was available from a different store too. So it seemed like they kind of had you sewn up for dinner, which was kind of nice. But yeah, that was an absolute triumph. Thank you, babe, for getting that sorted out. In all fairness, I can't take credit for it. I just read about it on a blog. And uh, yeah, that night market lived up to its name and you should definitely go. I'm sure we'll be back while we're still here on Gilly Tea. I'm still giving you credit. You did the research. I'm definitely more research than I did. Anyway, that's going to be us for tonight. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. What were you planning on saying? Just that we're heading to the We are... Uh, at natural. <laughs>